Now I've got the beautiful butterfly and flower card making set here. You've got five different elements and from these elements you can create all sorts of different cards. Excuse me, I'm joking here. You've got the five elements, let's go through them one by one so you understand them. Now not only have you got five elements, you've got the different sizes as well. You've got four sizes all together. So there is your first uh, background paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's have a close up on that. We can really get in there and see those what flowers and the butterfly you can see there you've got some pale blue flowers there and some that are a little bit more kind of gray colored as well and they all mix and match beautifully together you've got that lovely i think it's a red admiral that's aligning onto those flowers there you've got that beautiful background paper there you can use now you've also got the same background paper but in the next size down and you can see that there and again lots of different ways you can use this you can mat and layer over one another so you get the two different sizes and create wonderful effects from them so there you go that is the um, there's the beautiful one there you've got four on that one and you've also got nine on that one your background papers but in in five nine different sizes there four different sizes that's nine now I've got another background paper here as well. Now this one's a little bit more sparse because sometimes you don't want something that's a bit over fussy. So this one leaves plenty of spaces and gaps to give you more of an open effect here on this design. And you can see you've got basically just the flowers on this one. You've got the pale grey ones and you've got the blue ones as well. So you've got the large uh, background paper there and you can see the design. See how beautiful that is? You can see all the grains of every petal there. Beautiful watercolour effect there. Then you've got the small ones, and again, you can use these landscape or portrait, entirely up to you which way you want to use them. You've got those lovely grey kind of with mauve coming through on the, the leaves as well. Then you've got the next size down where you're going to get four to a sheet there, and then you're also going to get nine to a sheet in the smaller size there of your background papers. Next, you've got some frames. Can you imagine what these are going to look like? These would look fantastic, wouldn't they? Look at those, that great big frame there. And you can see if I start at the top there, you can see you've got all the flowers around the top here. And if I just pull that down, you can see in the bottom right hand corner there, you've just got one butterfly on that. But again, you're going to get these in the four different sizes. I have to think then, four different sizes. So there's your A5 size, you see six sizes. You're going to get four to a sheet there and you're also going to get nine on that one too so those are your frames then you might want to do some borders so you've got portrait and landscape these are your landscape ones now you could print this straight onto card and then just fold that in half and you've got this beautiful border going down the edge here i'll show you that in a card at the at the end that we finished off you can have a look at that so there is one of the borders then you've also got it in the a5 size there you go and you could use these as inserts as well they'd be brilliant as inserts and there's a small one or just little labels that go in there and then you've got the very small one too plenty of room here for putting your text etc so those are the landscape well these are the portrait ones you can see these portrait and you can see how nicely those are they just go down the right hand side of the page there so if you wanted you could fold that in half have a slimline card cut out all the bits and pieces that would make a lovely kind of really unusual card that one so you've got those you've got the portrait in the uh, a5 size too you've also got them in the c6 size and you've also got them in the very very small size too so those are your different options that you've got that are all you're getting all of these but once you've got them you download what you want you can make it's also a project if you want to go and have a look at that here's an example of the project that's been made and you can see that we've used the different sizes here of the background papers and also this one here has used one of the borders and that's also been decoupaged up by using the, the decoupage sheets as well and if you open that up you can also use one of the borders, one of the frames on the inside for doing your text on. So that's just an example of one of the cards that you can make. So you've got loads of different options. This is the card making set. You can just give us number three, Chuck. Number two. Number two in the background so I can just lay these out and they can see them. There you go. This is number two. No, you can keep me talking, Chuck. Just have it in the background, thanks. No, that's number four in the background. <laughs> There's your background paper, and there is your uh, background paper with the with so the daffodil on, with the uh, 
she's confusing me here. Uh, with the, what's they called? Butterflies on. Butterflies, not a dove. Butterflies and flowers. So you're getting all of those different, you're getting five different options there. Not options, you're getting them all. I'm getting all tongue tied here. You can make things like that. And all you've got to do is download and print them off. You know, forget you've got toppers, you've got a card making set, you've got decoupage, and there's even a project. Go and have a good look and download the one you want. <laughs>